Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today, i-review natin itong nabili kong InPods. Ay, balik tayo. <laughs> i-review natin itong nabili kong InPods sa Lazada. So I only got it for 279 pesos. Pero ang original price niya ay 699. And yung name ng store na napagbilhan ko nito ay LHR or Lucky HR. So if you're interested to purchase it, I'll make sure to simply leave the link down below. So, let's start reviewing this product. Very impressed ako sa particular store na to na pinagbilhan ko kasi binalik ko siya ng Thursday and na-receive ko siya kaagad the next day, which is Friday. I thought it's gonna be the following week, pero kudos dun sa seller and sa courier na rin sa super fast delivery. So, big thumbs up on that already. And I'm also impressed with the packaging kasi sobrang ganda ng packaging. Para siyang box ng iPhone. Kaya parang sabi ko, wow, so it looks like it's a good quality. So, let's check it out more. So, when I open the box, ito yung makikita mo. Naka-plastic. Uh oh. <laughs> so, naka-plastic siya. Naka-plastic siya, pero syempre nagamit ko na ito. Nilagay ko lang ulit sa plastic, di ba? Para feel na feel yung unboxing kahit na-unbox ka na siya. So, when you open it, you're gonna see this, yung actual end pod. And then, you're gonna get the manual. Then sa manual, meron siyang iba't ibang kulay. So, yung sa taas, cute siya, pero I'm not interested into this color. So, mas gusto ko yung mga dark colors, mga astig na kulay. So, I was choosing between gray and black. Pero syempre, since mas prefer ko ang black, black ang pinili ko. Yung manual is in English. Ito, nasa English siya. But on the other side, it's in Chinese. So, we could expect that it came from China. Pero, let's see about the quality of the actual end pod. So, dito pa lang, sobrang na-impress na rin ako. Maganda yung case. Ayan. Kulay black. I'm not sure if this is chrome black or matte black. Matte black yata. Tapos, dito yung port niya. So, ang charger niya is para sa iPhone. Lighting cable, I believe. And it has one button here. And then, ito pa yung isang part na na-impress ako. Which is yung cover. So, magnetic siya. So, dun pa lang sabi ko, ay, quality na to. Maganda yung case. Kasi nagkaroon na ako ng unang in-pods or air-pods. And it was a gift. Pero after just a week, nasira ako siya. Kasi... It, I think it, it's not magnetic. Look. Parang yung malalak mo lang siya kasi merong space sa taas. And then, nasira ko siya kasi yung port nandito sa taas. So, medyo na-force ko yung charger and natanggal yung mismo port sa baba. So, I'm sorry dun sa nagbigay. But you're not understanding Tagalog. So, it's fine. Char. Okay. So, going back to this in-pod. Um, aside from this lead na magnetic din, itong actual in-pod ay magnetic din. Look. Oops. Yeah. So, check na sa box. Check na sa case. Check pa sa quality ng actual impact. So, hindi pa natin siya nagagamit, pero sobrang na-impress na talaga ako sa packaging niya. Kasi, syempre, nagaling ako dito sa dito. Ito yung first ko, and then ito yung second. So, hindi ko maalis na ipagkumpara silang dalawa. And dito kasi halata mo talagang hindi siya magandang quality. Though, yun nga, it's just a gift for me. I don't have any rights to complain. So, pero I'm grateful. Sobrang tawa ako nung na-receive ko to kasi first time ko talaga maka-receive ng AirPod. And I'm really sorry if you're watching. I didn't mean to break it. 
but I'm still keeping it. I'm still treasuring it. It's really the thoughts that count. So, but yeah, I got it. I, I, I was able to use it naman for over a week or one week. But yeah, I was I wasn't just too good in hunting this kind of stuff. I really tend to break things. But anyways, so with this in pod, so yun nga, once you took it out from the case, it automatically turns on. So maririnig mo na siya pag sinot mo na turning on or turn on, something like that. And then you're gonna see the light. Then it's turned on. It doesn't have any button as you can see. So unlike dito, meron siyang button na kailangan mong i-press para mag on. Pero dito hindi. Once you took it out from the box, from the case, it automatically turns on. Yan. And, and if your iPhone is nearby, magkakaroon na siya ng pop-up screen na nagpo-prompt sa'yo to connect the end parts. And then, and then once you connect it, mag-appear yung battery life ng mismong end pod tsaka ng mismong case. So, normally, it's 100% or depende uh, if it's fully charged. And then, sometimes, automatic niya rin tinuturn on yung music player mo. So, that's one. And yung functionality mismo nito, although hindi siya, although wala siyang button, very touch sensitive siya. So, nakalagay sa manual kung paano mo siya magagamit. So, let's say the music is playing, pag pinres mo siya once, it's gonna pause. But if you press it twice, it's gonna switch to the next music. If you're gonna, if you're gonna press it thrice, it's gonna turn Siri on. Pero if you're gonna touch it for like a very short period, it's either gonna increase or decrease the volume. So based on manual, itong left ear daw yung magde-decrease ng volume. And the right ear will be the one to increase the volume. Pero on this particular input that I got, itong right ear yung nagde-decrease ng volume. And itong left ear yung magi increase and then, if you're, if you need to shut it down, you just have to long press until it tells you power off. Because if you're about to put it back into the case, make sure to turn it. Make sure to turn it off. One thing that I like about as well, dito sa inpad na to, is if you left it unused, hindi siya connected, nothing's playing it will automatically turn itself off. So, very battery efficient siya. So, very intuitive yung action the inputs. It's gonna turn off if it's not being used. So, another good thing about this is it lasts for like 2 hours for me, yung mismong inputs. Pero yung case, tumatagal siya siguro ng mga 3 charges para sa inputs. And, napakaganda ng volume niya. Malakas na siya kahit hindi pa max yung volume. So that's one thing that I was also surprised. Kasi very good quality maski yung sound niya. So if you put it in maximum, you can barely hear your surroundings na. So punta naman tayo dun sa mismong case ng inpod. So ayan. So meron siyang button dito na once you turn it on, it's charge na yung inpod. And it's gonna show na charging yung inpod. So, pwede hindi umilaw yung isang inpod kapag full charge pa siya. Pero yung isa, kung low battery na siya, magsashow yung red light. Okay? So, that's, I think, one of the advantage na meron dito sa inpod is they have their own battery life. So, if one is already low battery, the other you can use pa. Kasi, meron pa siyang battery life. So one thing that I like about this uh, inputs as well is it's very durable kasi ilang beses ko na siyang nabagsak. And hindi naman siya nasisira so far. 
So that's good. So one thing na medyo nagpanik ako dito sa Enpad na to is hindi siya nag-charge ng una kong tinray. So ganito ko lang siya pina-plug nun. Kasi nga parang medyo nagiging careful ako kasi na-trauma na ako dun sa previous Enpad na nasira dahil pinars ko yung charger. So dito dahil ayoko siyang masira, um, dahan-dahan ko lang pina-plug yung port. And yun, medyo nagpanik na ako ng baka sira nga siya kasi hindi siya umiilaw when it should be lighting up. Pero, meron akong friend na meron din ganito. So, I asked her kung anong pwedeng gawin kasi hindi siya nagsacharge. And then, she told me na dapat i-push harder until it lights up. So, yun. Um, baka ma-encounter niya rin yun na medyo careful kayo sa end pod. So, natatakot kayo medyo isagad. Huwag kayong matakot kasi ganun talaga siya dapat. So yun, those are the good sides or the pros that I have for this particular Enpod. Start Starting off with the packaging, with the case, with the actual Enpod, with its functionality, the volume, etc. But on the other hand, um, meron siyang cons that I have noticed. So since tumatagal siya ng approximately more or less 2 hours for me, Hindi siya advisable for long drive. So, much better pa rin if you have the generic earphones as a backup. If, if ever, yeah, you're gonna need to listen more to music. And it can't be connected sa laptop. Kasi tinry ko siyang i-connect sa laptop. Actually, it can be connected to a laptop. Pero, hindi mo maririnig yung volume. So, I've tried on one laptop. Wala talaga. Pinasya ko na sa IT, sa office, pero hindi talaga nila mapagana yung sound dito. Although connected siya. We're not sure why. I don't know if it's faulty or it's because nakalagay dito sa box is for, I, for Android and iOS lang siya. Tsaka VT 5.0. Siguro... Um, I'm not sure with the BT 5.0. If you say ba hindi update the dim Bluetooth, kaya hindi nag replay. So I'm not sure if if ever you're able to connect it sa laptop nyo, please. So if ever you connect it sa sa laptop nyo or sa computer nyo na may Bluetooth, please leave your comments down below and maybe I can try it out as well or for other people's knowledge then. Yeah, so just an FYI, this video is not sponsored because wala pa naman ako viewers. But if ever there are companies out there who's willing to call up with me, please email me directly to the email address that I have on my description box. Diba? I'm just filling lang ako if ever in the future. And yeah, kasi ano nga meron kayo na kuhang FYI or knowledge about this Npods, and I hope at least um, this help you to decide whether you're gonna get it or not. So if you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, please leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to this video and put a thumbs up. Yes, thank you so much for watching. Bye.